Very nice. All right. <laughs> yes, I'm a... Hey, look. Eight-year-old on an Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies to any eight-year-olds watching. And I will say, then why are you watching a Left 4 Dead 2 video? And when huh. class is an 18, over in Europe, and probably over in America. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It might be. Then again, age ratings are much like the pirate code. They're more like guidelines. Oh, yeah. Oh, that like... reminds me. I've been playing Lego to buy Lego too much. Huh. I got Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, and I am enjoying it too much. <laughs> I don't know. The first M-rated game that really my parents let me play was the original Halo. Mm. Well, the first M-rated game I played was a game called... Well, the, actual, the first game that I had the privilege of owning was the con like, once again it's a console version it's a console port but it's a console port of a game called um, Deus Ex oh yeah I heard of that and I oh, I enjoyed that one quite a lot as well because you got the option you had to choose of what you know special powers you had for your you know your augments yeah so you could choose to be completely invisible to robots or completely invisible to people. Oh, nice. And that was classed as an 18. And my parents let me buy it. I don't know what possessed them to let me buy it, but they bought it. Let me buy it. Huh. They bought it for me. Because well, huh. I had to show some ID and I was only yeah. I was only 15 at the time, so kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Um, However, the, the, the M-rated game that they were always pretty iffy on me getting was Grand Theft Auto. They were, yeah. like, they were wholeheartedly against that. I still don't think my parents liked me playing Grand Theft Auto, but even though I, like, I don't know, I, I don't really like Grand Theft Auto. I kind of, personally, I like Saints Row better. Uh, I don't know what it is about it. It just seems more fun. Well, I, I, they, uh, they eventually let me get Grand Theft Auto 4, which yep. actually I haven't played in a huh. while. But I use it. I only, I only really, I only really use it if, um, if I'm kind of, if I'm kind of angry and I want to, you know, just take my anger out. Yeah. But I also do it with like stuff like Gary's mod and stuff. Mm -hmm. Ow, zombies, stop it. But I only got to a certain point in the game and then I just stopped playing it because I didn't really find it fun. Yeah, like, I played, like, the first couple of missions and I, I don't know, I didn't really like how much, like, just little stupid things I had to do just to do yeah. something fun. I don't know. This was well after I bought this, of course. Yeah. And Left 4 Dead 1, of course. Left 4 Dead 1. But, um... And... Actually, I, th I thought the M, the uh, mature rating, for this game was more thoroughly justified than it was for Grand Theft Auto. Oh dear, tank. I don't know. I mean, I can I can see why they gave it the a, the M rating. Yeah. Because you know it's all it's all about like drugs and yeah, oh, guns oh, and stuff. Is. But sort of like half the fifteen games there as well. Yeah. So I don't I don't know where they come up with the. Ow. Well, the units are all done by a single board, so they oh, choose where. Oh, that's your first down. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. They weren't easy, too. Nah. But, uh, oh, well. Stand still. I'm gonna but uh, I think the M, -rated, the M rating on this is more thoroughly justified than on Thanks. Grand Theft Auto. I know it's like all of it drugs and yeah. hookers and stuff, but it's not, you know, like super in-your-face type. This, yeah. is, this is about, you know... Because technically, if you look at, if you've read the backstory in this, these aren't zombies. These are just technically rabies, humans with rabies. Yeah. 
Sweet, baby. Which Ooh. can also be seen why the um, the Australian government decided they weren't going to accept the original version. Really? Yeah. The um, oh. they didn't accept their this version that we're playing right now. They didn't accept a tweaked version, but they accepted a uh, a Valve censored edition. Jeez. And I've seen the censored edition, and my God, the differences. What do they like do? Like. There are no visual decapitations. There are no fire damage apart from the tank. Yeah. Come on, Francis, give it a rest. One second, I needed to take a drink. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I have to let these guys talk. Are you joking? Oh man, it's a medical condition. Just my goddamn luck. Shit, Francis. When we get there, I got your batch. I'm gonna keep an eye on that island for you. Stupid island. <laughs> Dumb ass island shit hole. <laughs> island bitch. <laughs> Alright. I guess you don't like islands. <laughs> Reloading. But um So what were we talking about? I'm, I've got short term memory right uh, now. Uh the um, oh, I've not things in Australia yet. or the thing in Australia. This game That's in Australia. Australia. There we yeah. go. They um they basically just said that well, they they don't, they, when you kill a zombie, you know how, like, for example, this one here, you know how the corpse is still there? Yeah. In the Australian version, there would just be a small pattern of blood, and then nothing. It would, the corpse no. would just disappear. The head wouldn't come off, there would be no severed body parts, nothing. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh dear. I know, uh, pretty sure they're not gonna, well, any version of Duke Nukem in Australia. Oh, I. But that, uh, I mean, it's Duke Nukem. I mean, Come on. That's the, that's not the end of the changes, though. They actually remove. They actually had to remove an entire zombie type because of Australian laws against um against uh, it violence against um violence against uh, is it government workers. They had to remove really? the they had to remove the parish um, zombie special infected. Uncommon, what? common infected, sorry. Um, because it had the word, it was a security guard, and it had the word security on it. Jeez. There are also certain piles of corpses in the, in the parish that are just gone. They're not there. Hmm. Which is maybe about five, uh, four or five day, days work just ha has to be removed because yeah. of the law. I don't know, it's kind of ridiculous, but I mean, I don't know. I don't really know why they do that. I mean, it's not like people see that and they're like, "Oh my gosh!" I don't, I don't know how they justify that or whatever. But I mean, let me see, let me see. What's the uh? What's that? What? I've been pl I've played, you know, was like I've seen at least a couple of worse games than this, and they've been accepted. In Australia, without any problems, I think it's just the modern, you know, the modern like family just saying, yeah. "No, no, 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 this is too gory." Except yeah, I guess. I don't know. But really, once you've if you if you've been on the internet, really nothing is Ooh, so different. Speed. Yeah. Whoa. I mean, if, if you've played any violent game, then you will, well, then you will know what to expect. Yeah. I mean, sure, this this goes on to a bit more uh, graphical details, but it's more realistic. And the Australian version, it's just not realistic. Yeah, it's kind of 